All right, so I'm about to have some raw broccoli with cottage cheese, mustard, some leftover onions, and turkey kielbasa. This is my first meal of the day, and I prefer having this as my first meal because it's so freaking good. This is what it looks like, by the way. I'm gonna let Feline have some. I'm sure she's gonna like it. And then here are my three. So I have high, high hopes, but we'll see. Dentist, dentist, call 911. 911, call the dentist. Nope, that is like not the same texture at all. Or was it in the freezer for too long? Back to my mukbang era, just kidding. Okay, so here are the cauliflowers. Let's just try a little nibble without anything on here. It smells like braided cauliflower, it's exactly what you'd expect. Wait, what? If you're a vegetarian, maybe even possibly vegan, I think these are vegan, run. Run to the store. So I was craving sushi. My friend wants me to take a picture for her and send it, so I'm gonna do that even before I eat any, but I wanted to show you what I got. So this is called the Crunchy Blue. It's literally just crab. <laughs> just crab. I get mine all cooked. This one's called Cloud Nine. This one has crab and like a white fish. Last but not least, I just got some like avocado. Like this little guy, really just avocado seaweed and rice. This looks so good. Oh yeah, and the one with the um, white fish also has jalapenos on top, which is gonna slap something fierce. It's gonna be so good. I told my friend, I will try not to forget to take that photo. So I'm about to do it right now. Photo, photo is taken. All right, so my food is complete. Mustard, cottage cheese, raw broccoli, and my little turkey kielbasa and onion. All right, Grandma Chic is here. Um, I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna have some of these spicy dill pickle almonds. Might have this as well. It's just that think protein bar. Okay, so I did not order out, but I did have a couple uh, pineapple rings. I had two. And then I also had some leftovers from last night, which was turkey kielbasa and onion. So I'm proud of myself for the choice that I made. And I waited for about an hour because I ended up realizing that I actually was hungry. So I feel like I made a really positive uh, choice. Right now I am making some spam with some broccoli. And over here I have some rice and the little rice cooker going. All right, so here is my completed food here. I also put a little bit of peanuts on top because that's how I like it. And also a little bit of sriracha and soy sauce. Right now I'm making some of that uh, lightly braided cauliflower, but I'm making like a garlic spaghetti sauce. So I could do like a wannabe Parmesan. I don't know what I'm doing actually because I don't even have Parmesan. I'm using mozzarella. But I have them in here. This is the sauce I'm using. Classico roasted garlic. So this did come with a uh, barbecue sauce but I don't want it. And people were questioning is it actually lightly breaded? Yes, it says lightly breaded. Right there. Now I'm just gonna put some sauce on top while I make a mess. I am a messy cooker. That's just how I am. Now I'm gonna take the mozzarella. This would be so good with some Parmesan, but I don't have any. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little taste test um, in my brain. It sounded good, so I hope it tastes good. The cheese is kind of melting a little bit. Love that. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what I thought it was gonna taste like. Okay guys, so this is like my favorite meal. <laughs> it's like from heaven. <laughs> um, so as you guys know, I'm really weird about like my meat. <laughs> 
like chicken or whatever, like I just can't. But this Mediterranean place slaps. Their chicken, right up my alley. So, I'm gonna show you guys a close up. I never use their sauce, but it does come with some of that. Um, I get chicken, there are green beans down there, as you can see. I get just a couple of potatoes, they're like lemon flavored, it's so good, it's so weird. And I get lettuce, onion, and some basmati rice. Something about this meal, it has a chokehold on me. So why are we blurry, ma'am? But I'm telling you, this chicken, flavor flav. It's so good. You wanna bite? And these potatoes, I don't choke on them, don't worry. <laughs> Y'all, I just made some meatballs in the air fryer for the first time, so let's taste them. Could be good. I was feeling pretty hungry. These are uh, meatballs I got from Trader Joe's. <laughs> oh yeah. It'd be good with some sauce, but I kind of didn't want sauce. I just wanted to have it like this. That's so good. Not me about to have my nightly meatballs. I've been having this every night for like four nights. I feel like I'm just eating the same things every day. But I'm going to have it with mustard tonight. I feel like that's going to taste so good. Okay, you guys. So I'm about to make um, onion, broccoli, and turkey kielbasa. You guys have seen me do this like a hundred times. And we're going to be using this knife today because... Why the heck not? Come for me, folks. Come for me. So I think I'm gonna make a big batch of this so I can have some tomorrow. So I'm just gonna cut this whole onion. Usually I just do half at a time. All right. Everyone cuts differently, folks. So let's just be nice. It'll be okay, I promise. I like my onion pieces to be a little bit bigger than the average Joe here. So I'm just gonna dice them like that. Does onion make you guys cry? Like sometimes I will literally be crying so hard, but right now I feel nothing. The last onion I cut though, oh my gosh. It was crazy how much my eyes were watering. That is perfect. All right, so I've had the stove on and such, so I'm just gonna put that in there. And I also want like a ton of broccoli because I did want um, rice, but I told myself I don't really need it. So yeah, this is gonna be like, I would say about three meals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these guys off because it's a texture thing, folks. I have like a weird, like aversion to certain textures where I just can't do it, like at all. So to give a little update on the moving thing, um, I'm pretty sure I have the exact date that I'm moving. And I just don't really wanna say anything right now because I don't wanna like jinx it. You never know, like, you just never know what's gonna happen. Do you guys like broccoli? I think broccoli tastes better raw dips in mustard like it is the best but I wanted to cook it today I figured I've had enough raw broccoli to last me a lifetime <laughs> so gonna cook that I'm also gonna add some garlic obviously a little bit of seasoning all right so these are perfectly cut now it is time to cut my turkey kielbasa, yes. I try my hardest not to cut meat on like wood, so that's why I changed the uh, cutting board. So I'm just gonna cut them in half like that because I like smaller pieces and then just cut it like so. Turkey kielbasa is so good. Like, oh my gosh. I don't wanna know what's in here because I'll get creeped out because I'm not a meat girly. No. As I'm sitting here cutting turkey kielbasa. I swear humans are walking hypocrites. It's so funny. So I was really tempted to weigh myself today, but I didn't. 
I really want to not do daily weigh-ins. Maybe every other day. Because I feel like I'll weigh myself tomorrow. Okay, so we have the onion going. Getting caramelized. I always add the kielbasa next. And then broccoli will probably be added in in a couple minutes. Because I like my broccoli to like not be super soft but still have like a little crunch. Oh my god, this smells so good. So I've been thinking, um, I have so much stuff from you guys in my P.O. box, but I don't know if I want to do a separate video. Like I'm trying to decide if I want to like put it in vlogs. Of course I dropped one. I don't know. I might actually just add a little bit in each vlog because I think it's fun to do it that way. But you guys have been amazing. My P.O. box does close soon. So I do appreciate everybody. You guys are literally so sweet and so kind. Your letters are amazing. So many of you open up to me and you're just like the sweetest. Literally the sweetest. All right, so the seasoning I'm gonna add, garlic salt, of course. Obviously some pepper here some cayenne pepper because we don't have any more uh, red pepper flakes sadly oh yeah this is gonna be so good and so filling it's gonna be awesome I love making one meal that actually like is equivalent to three so then the other two times I don't have to cook I'll just eat my leftovers and this tastes so good leftovers it's delish so this is what it's looking like and it smells so good. I'm gonna add some actual minced garlic. I don't have any fresh right now, but I do have this. Okay, so it is finished. Now I'm gonna add some tapatio on top. I used to add tapatio to literally everything, but I stopped. This stuff is so good.